Yo, what's going on guys, man? Welcome back with another video for you guys. Before I get into this video, I know somebody's gonna ask why I have ear pods in my ear, just in case somebody does. The reason why I have this in my ear is because I'm listening to the song that I wanna put in the edit for this video, so it helps me bring up the energy that I wanna give off in this video. Honestly, you should try it. It definitely helps me. It kinda makes it seem a little more natural with the song I play or use with the edit. So that's why I have this ear pod in my ear. It's because I'm listening to what I'm gonna be putting in the edit. So that's why. This is in my ear, I only got one in, so I hear everything else outside, what's going on. So yeah, that's why I just got one in. Um, but look, in today's video, um, I wanted to share with you guys what I think is definitely the best camera bag when it comes to, or the best camera bag for gimbals. Now, you guys see me talk about this bag. This is the camera bag that I've been using all year. I've done two videos on the West Summit camera bag. And if you guys wanna go check that video out, I'm gonna link it up right here on one of these sides and also gonna be linked down in the description. But look, I wanna talk about one key note about this bag. This bag, hands down, is the best camera bag for gimbals. If you look over here on this side, you can see there's a little zipper part. And this is where all the magic happens, man. Like, I literally have my entire Ronin M inside this bag, man. It's broken down into the small parts and all that. But look, it's a Ronin M, dude. Just packed away in there, nice and easy. Like, I don't have to force it because this bag is specifically designed for gimbals. So. Um, when it comes to me putting this in here, I don't have to force it in here or nothing like that. And I also have my 16 inch MacBook Pro in here as well, along with all the other pieces as well, just parts that make up the Ronin M. Um, I usually just keep my Ronin S in here, but I wanted to show you guys that for the Ronin M because it's a bigger gimbal and you can see it easily fits within the camera bag. And that's one of the main reasons why I got this bag is because it can fit gimbals in it so easily, man. Like when I'm traveling, I usually would just carry my, uh, what's this called? <laughs> a Pelican case. I usually would just carry my Pelican case and have it as an extra bag or my luggage. But now that I have this bag and it has a designated spot for gimbals, I don't have to worry about bringing this unless I want to. I don't need to bring my Pelican case unless I absolutely want to for extra gear, I guess. But like I said, everything can fit within this bag. My camera, other gear, uh, MacBook Pro, 16 inch MacBook Pro, and the gimbal. So yeah, guys, that's why I think that this is hands down the best camera bag for honestly, not just gimbals, just overall, it's a great bag. Um, it is a little expensive. This camera bag costs around 289 bucks on b &H. That's gonna be linked down in the description if you guys wanna go check that out for yourself. Yeah, so that's why I ended up picking this bag because it can easily fit gimbals within it. And when I'm traveling or out doing vlogs or on set for stuff, I would like to carry everything within my camera bag if I can. If I have to bring more gear, I'll just put everything in my Pelican case and that's cool. But I have the option now to put everything within, or at least a gimbal added within my gear in my camera bag. So that's why I picked up this camera bag. And I've used other bags, like this Encase DSLR Pro Pack. Uh, I used it for a little bit, but I realized it was not the size I needed it to be to fit gimbals. And I also used an older um, Amazon Basics camera bag. That was my very first bag, but nothing can compare to this bag, man. It's, or at least everything that I've used is nothing that I can compare to this bag. This was this is a great bag too. Don't get me wrong. This is a great bag. But as far as holding a gimbal, I mean you could fit it in this top portion. But with the gear I have, I usually just put like my little think tank looking bags in the front portion of my camera bag, and everything else goes behind it. So having this bag, man, it's just game changer for me. Uh, I can put my gimbal in there without any hassle. I don't have to force it in there. It just fits in there perfectly, man. Ronin M, Ronin S, whatever gimbal you have, it's gonna fit in there. Like those gimbals that aren't super big that the majority of us don't have, like I don't think a lot of you guys have the Ronin 2. That's a very, very expensive gimbal or the, the Movi Pro, whatever it's called. That thing is like close to $10,000. So I don't think you and I have that gimbal. But if you have like the Ronin S, like I said, Ronin M or any of those smaller types of gimbals, or not, I'm gonna say smaller, Smaller compared to those bigger, bigger gimbals, but um, yeah, you can be able to fit Ronin M, Ronin S, 
Zion Crane, all those types of gimbals like that can easily fit within this bag. I'm telling you, it's gonna fit. I would highly recommend you guys picking up this bag. If you're interested, like I said, it's gonna be linked down in the description so you guys go check that out. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. This shouldn't be too long. Um, should be a few minutes just to give you guys a little bit of knowledge of what I think is the best camera bag when it comes to gimbals. Um, yeah, look, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it to be informational to you, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.